Hey everybody, this is Nemo and welcome to day 13 of the Pressure Shop 101 series. Today, in this video, we will have a look at Presta Shop's CMS features. And of course, do not expect anything advanced like WordPress or Joomla. It's uh, basically just a way to add some, some pages with custom text inside with, of course, the help of uh, the visual editor. So, uh, an example of a CMS page in Presta Shop is the delivery page. For example, here, I'm clicking this uh, information box and, by the way, we will see how to manage uh, this block soon. <clears throat> so, I'll click here and you can see, uh, basically, it's nothing more than a page with some text and a couple of headings. So, uh, let's go ahead and add it this one. In the back office, I will go to Preferences, CMS. And by the way, CMS uh, pages can be grouped in categories, but uh, we, will, we will have a look uh, at this um, shortly. Well, let's head, let's head um, to the delivery page. So if I am to click here, I'll be uh, brought back to my front office page. I want to click the Edit button here. So as you can see, it's basically our beloved visual editor. Now, something to say about this. Uh, there is a problem with the latest PrestaShop versions. Um, those PrestaShop developers have uh, not so smartly disabled heading tags and other features uh, for visual editor. So, to re-enable uh, these features, you can follow my tutorial uh, on my site um, and uh, you will find um, a link um, at the, at the, in the description of the uh, YouTube video and that way you can have headings and other formatting options back here into the editor or, or uh, well alternatively, uh, alternatively you can uh, also use the HTML editor here but it's not a great solution because you will have to type your own uh, HTML tags so uh, let's write something on a RAN here and say and I'll be back to the list so now I will click here and I'll open a new page and you can see it's been edited so it's pretty 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 much easy to edit this thing now if you want some more control over it and create something more bloggish you can use CMS categories to uh, logically wrap your content into section. So let's say for the sake of this example, we want uh, a small blog or something like that. So let's uh, create our post categories. Say um, we want to add, I don't know, video game reviews. So let's create some top level categories first. Um, I will divide it into platforms, uh, say Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. So I will add a new category, I will add a name, so Xbox 360, oops, Zbox, might be a new one, uh, uh, as a parent CMS category, and this will be part of the structure, will be home since there is nothing else, it will be displayed, uh, I will not bother adding descriptions and metas but uh, you should definitely fill these fields in if you're planning to use these uh, kind of a blogger's feature so I will save this and I will add PlayStation 3 <clears throat> so PlayStation 3 again parent is home and okay I will save this now, I want to uh, divide games, platform games, uh, into genres. So, I will add a couple of uh, new uh, categories. But this time, they will not be children of the home category. They will be children of these two ones, uh, specifically of the Xbox. So, I will add new name. I will call it, uh, I don't know, RPGs. And child of Xbox 360. Save, add a new one, I don't know, action, and again, child of Xbox 360. Now, we have our category structure. So, and you will not see these because you will have to click 
uh, here on, on the specific category. So if I click on Xbox 360, you will, you will see um, pages in this category. So in Xbox 360 category and the subcategories. Now, uh, we have our structure. Let's add a couple of articles. So I want to add um, something in the RPG category, for example. So uh, I will also click here and so that I don't have to select uh, the CMS category afterwards, I will click add new for pages here. And I will, you can see CMS categories RPG. I, will, I can also change this, uh, but I will not need to do this. The meta title is actually the page title. So I will write something I don't know, RJRPGs that on major consoles? I hope not. Uh, meta description, you can add anything here. Meta keywords, uh, you can leave these off since, you, as you might know, Google doesn't care about keywords anymore. You can tweak the friendly URL and add some content. Uh, I don't know, let's add some little rapes. Some little rapes. Two. Now, let's add some lorem ipsum. Again, as I said, we will not be able to add headings here because of the restriction. So before uh, adding any new CMS page, go to my site and have a look at it on how to uh, have those buttons back. So I will choose to display it. I will save this. And you can see it appeared down here. And I will add another one, maybe in the action, I don't know, some title. Uh, just garbage here. And I will add the same over and over and over again. Okay, save. Now we have our silly and lorem ips ipsumish articles. So uh, it's time to um, display these articles. And to do this, I will take advantage of the CMS block I clicked on before. So, uh, I, I can, if I want, choose to display them all in the footer here, but it would be pretty silly to have a stack of categories uh, that would make a really long footer, and that's no good. So, I will go to Models, and I will look for CMS, oops, CMS block and configure. Now, um, let me show you this um, this footer thing I've, I've been talking about. I will enable these ones, all of these ones, for example, uh, in, the, in the footer, I will save, and you will notice, you can see this big stack of categories, which is no good at all. So I'll, I will just re-disable these once more and I will create a new block. So let's say I want to display them here. Uh, I will click Add New, and name of the block will be Video Games, for example. Or maybe, no, uh, I haven't created that category. So Xbox 360. CMS category, this uh, is where the title here uh, will point to. So I will click, I will select the Xbox 360 category, location I will choose right, uh, I will not display our stores, and I will now choose um, the categories which will be displayed. So since this is the Xbox 360 um, block, I will display RPG and action. I will go ahead and save. So let's refresh here, and you can see it appear here. Uh, now I don't know why this uh, has this weird formatting is so different from this one but anyway you can grasp the concept so basically you can create any number of uh, categories subcategories and so and you can display them in you know, like a blog fashion so let's say I click on Xbox 360 here I get a list of subcategories and if I had pages here I would have got uh, a list of pages down here so let's click on RPG and you will see a list of pages in RPG. Of course, you can always tweak these translation, this little piece of text, and write something like a list of blog posts in this category. And I click here, and there is my article. 
So, uh, I think this is everything uh, for now about CMS pages. As you can see, you have some possibilities, but again, I strongly, strongly advise you uh, to re-enable all the visual editor commands before doing anything with CMS pages. Okay, as always, feel free to contact me if you have other questions. Uh, my email is nemo at nemops.com. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.